some prefer Samsung messages and some prefer Google messages. In this video, we'll uncover the five things that are only found in Samsung messages. So let's get into it. The first and the most obvious are categories. It's an amazing way to organize your messages, especially if you chat with your work buddies. The first is always the inbox containing all the conversations. Then are your categories. I have two. One is where I manage everything personal and the other is where messages from shipment companies, businesses and other places are stored. We can sort those categories and move them around at any time. When we see both apps side by side, the first thing we notice is how great Samsung Messages looks. That's because of its amazing One UI. The theme is darker and it looks fancier. The conversation interface is also much better. When you scroll through messages, the label on the top shows the message date, which has helped me many times. Also, I don't know about you, but links and numbers look much better than in its opponent. Okay, because of its layout, we get many customization options. And yes, everything we'll cover here is not found on Google Messages. First, we can actually change a conversation's background. It has some built-in colors, but we can place an image from gallery. We even get adjustment options to better make use of the background photo. Then you see this tiny icon. This has lots of inbox customization features. First, we can only display messages from one SIM if you have two SIMs installed. Then are the message display options to see all or just the uncategorized messages. Those things are not offered on Google Messages. Moving on, we get quick responses next. Google Messages has something similar, but it's not the same. In Samsung Messages, we get those saved responses that can save a few minutes of our time. If you miss calls a lot or send the same messages on a daily basis, you can set custom messages and send them with one tab. I don't use it much, but uh, I think I should start using it. Google Messages does not have a recycle bin. Well, at least not on my phone. But Samsung Messages does. It supports recovering from a single message to the whole conversation. When you go into the recycle bin, it shows the total number of deleted messages and options to recover them. Chats are saved in the bin for 30 days and then are gone for good. Next, we can pin a conversation to the top. Just go into the conversation settings and tap this button. This will always keep this chat on the top. We can also add multiple conversations and pin different chats in each category. Now most apps can only copy the whole message, even Google Messages. However, Samsung Messages brings the select text option that opens up a new screen to select a part of the text and copy it. This is a great feature because with Google Messages, I had to copy the text and paste it in a notes app and then copy the required part, which took longer. Now it's easy peasy. But that's not it. There are five other quick features that are only found in Samsung Messages. When you open the app, Samsung Messages shows the total number of unread messages. This view button will only display those unread messages. It also shows the total number of unread messages in each chat. Next, Messages is integrated with contacts, so we can see and message contacts from here. Furthermore, you see this icon. This will instantly mute the notifications for this chat. Lastly, we can delete old messages to make room for new ones. Just enable the option and you're good to go. Google Messages is the default now, which is why most people don't even get the chance to try Samsung Messages. I hope the video helped you to at least try this app. Thanks for watching. Take care.